Well, if you're cold blooded like I am, you probably needed your winter coat today. I definitely have mine, but you're looking at a live shot right outside the KHQA studio, courtesy of the sleep tight weather cam and uh, look how you're sitting right now you're cold in here yeah you're like this. i'm right here Boom. because yep. i'm just thinking about it and i'm keeping warm it is sort of cold in here right now and you know what it's going to get colder tonight we're talking about a lot of different things all related to unbelievable may weather we've got some snow in the region that fell last night early this morning we've got record setting cold for everyone tonight and then we've got a frost advisory for early tomorrow morning for much of the tri-states and it's may 16th isn't that amazing? And it's bridge the gap tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, and they're gonna, they're going to be uh, bridging more than the gap. They're going to be bridging the cold weather, as a matter of fact, trying to find warmer weather. Let's go ahead and start out with some amazing video out of Rockford, Illinois this morning. Look at this. A dusting of wet snow coated that area. I saw some totals around a half inch to three quarters of an inch of accumulation just south of the Rockford area uh, earlier this morning. Just amazing when you think about the fact that it's the middle getting to be the late part of May. And uh, according to the Weather Service in Chicago, this was um, maybe the latest snowfall they've seen in that area. The latest May snow for sure, maybe the latest ever it snowed up there and accumulated. Uh, so just, just fabulous stuff out there. If you're a weather uh, fan, this is amazing weather. And we are looking at the cool weather conditions yet again today. Temperatures right around 50 degrees for much of the area. We are way below average. We should be in the lower 70s with our average highs this time of year. We've had some rain showers around. Temperatures once again, the lower 50s uh, for much of the area. We have a frost advisory in effect for tomorrow morning from 4 a.m. till 7 a.m. for temperatures that will fall into the middle 30s across the tri-states. And uh, as we head on into tomorrow morning, the record low here in Quincy is 37 degrees. I'm forecasting a low of 36. So it's going to be that kind of cold. Everybody will probably break a record tomorrow morning. But as we go through the weekend, we're going to see warmer weather with temperatures somewhere near 70 degrees by Sunday. So 50 right now, clouds at the airport. The winds are out of the north northeast at 10 miles an hour. The relative humidity at 59%. 43 in Bloomington, 46 in Chicago. You warm it up into the upper 50s and even lower 60s over southern Missouri. However, we're right at 50 here in Quincy, and we've got sort of a gloomy sky out there. A few scattered spot showers moving down in the northwest flow here. Hit and miss. Not everybody's going to see one, but the chances out there for the next few hours before we start to scour out these clouds overnight tonight. The model keeps that green across the region through the early evening hours. By tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, clear skies. That's a good bit of news right there. However, temperatures are going to really fall off with the clear skies overnight. A chilly start by tomorrow afternoon. Maybe the eastern viewing county see an isolated shower or two. Otherwise, I'm keeping the rest of the region dry. And then as we head into Sunday, look at this. Lots of sunshine. Wall to wall sunshine. The model shown here as we head through the day on Sunday with temperatures near 70 degrees. So just hold tight. We've got some nice weather coming your way as we roll through the rest of the upcoming weekend. 36 for a low tonight. That should break a record, and uh, we're going to look at that frost advisory as well. An early chance of a rain shower this evening. Winds light and variable throughout the overnight hours. Now for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. We'll warm it up to around 63, some near 60, but I'm going 63 here in Quincy with west winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Across the region for the weekend, we've got some good news for you. Absolutely, we do. 63 tomorrow. Of course, Culver Stockton has their commencement and graduation at 930 tomorrow morning. It's going to be cold for that too, probably in the 40s with Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures near 70 on Sunday. Lots of sunshine and uh, a gorgeous day, a gorgeous spring day here in the tri-states on Sunday. Slight chances of showers and storms Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday next week. An unsettled weather pattern. We increase the humidity. We're back, uh, I would call it downright muggy by Tuesday. Dew points warm into the 60s. Temperatures around 80 degrees. And with all that heat and humidity, we'll see the chances for thunderstorms continue Wednesday and Thursday. Highs in the mid 80s by Wednesday. Look at Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a nice day. And then uh, we go right from, you know, the cold stuff to a nice day on sunny back into sort of summertime heat and humidity. So go figure, you know, talk about a roller coaster. I We're think, on one. Yeah, Mother Nature might have bipolar. maybe. <laughs> I don't know this year. She does. All right. Thanks.